Indigenous peoples have stewarded this land since time immemorial. But where do queer identifying Indigenous people fit into this, and what do their relationships with the natural world look like today? Queer identities are incredibly diverse, and while they take shape in many different ways, they often inform our work and intersect with other identities we might have. Today we're meeting with Tiffany Joseph, who shares her experience as an queer person and some of her work in restoration. Good day, my name is Tiffany Joseph. My Sinchatha name is Chalasawit, and it translates to camera lady, and it also relates to uh, harvesting on the land. And I introduced my family um, in Sinchathan language, and I also uh, shared where I'm from. I am Khusainich, which are the saltwater people, and I am Skhotmish, which are the freshwater people. And when you put that together, I'm from brackish water. <laughs> Tiffany, this area is so beautiful. Could you tell us a little bit about the ecosystem and what you've been up to here today? So the ecosystem we're in is a part of the what is known as the coastal Douglas fir ecosystem and the Gary Oak ecosystem. And it's what we would call Kwa'al Anuk in Sinchathan and Shishit, which means forest and Kwa'al Anuk means the like camas food system. We're here in Stjenoch, which is the place of the salmon. And we were invited by Tsuk families to do removal of scotch broom. Scotch broom is an invasive woody shrub here on Vancouver Island that's been detrimental to the Gary Oak ecosystem by outcompeting many native plants and changing soil nutrients. Removing scotch broom is critical to restoring the health of this rare and culturally important ecosystem. Tiffany helps to oversee restoration projects on her traditional territory and was working with a group of students on scotch broom removal today. In this area of the ecosystem, scotch broom is quite prolific. Um, in the area we were working, uh, there has been years of scotch broom removal. So us showing up today was just being a little bit of help of long ongoing work that's been happening already. So Tiffany, how do you connect this restoration work with uh, your identity as a queer person? As an indigenous queer person, um, doing restoration has been about hearing about how queer people and two-spirit people in indigenous cultures um, are known to carry out important roles in the community. Those concepts weren't shared to me through my culture per se, but hearing people in my community share that other communities had that made me wonder about what was lost and if that was applicable to me as a queer, indigenous queer person. And that's the way the path led me. Um, to me, restoring land and that process of healing felt really important in promoting people recognizing a need to be a part of keeping balance. When Tiffany speaks about her queer identity, she often uses the term queer, a term that brings her queer and indigenous identities together. While two-spirit is often a word associated with queer identifying indigenous peoples, Tiffany chooses queer as her identity. And here's why. I like the term queer for myself because um, it relates more to, for me, uh, for my sexual orientation. The term two-spirit, as I understand, is a term that was brought out so that queer people and um, gender variant people in Indigenous communities could recognize that we have a role and we have a place in our communities. Um, that colonization is something that stamped that out. Um, we were never meant to see one another in a binary. Um, we had much more fluid relations with one another and fluid um, concepts of what love and uh, intimacy could look like. And I think people really wanted to just create space for that. For me as an queer person, um, 
I think it's really important to do invasive removals and land restoration because it's a mindset where things can heal. Whereas colonialism creates a mindset where the damage is done, you might as well cut your losses. And um, we just don't have that kind of worldview. Everything can be remedied, healing can happen. And um, by relating to the land in a way where you are engaging with the land healing, um, I, I hope it helps people realize that they can heal themselves as well.